It's, uh, it's a bit emotional for me to be here. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not a bad, sad sort of emotion. It is a, um, what I didn't hear, what I didn't hear was not something that was meant to go the way that it went. It was not supposed to, you know, become what it did, but it did. And I, 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 I sit here, you know, in this, in this very, very place where I feel like I'm, I'm living a dream right now because it's been almost seven months since I've been here. It's, it's, it's no nine months since I've been here. And I, the amount of memories that I have from here, the amount of shit that I went through in here, the battles and the successes and the happiness that I went through here will never ever be replicated. And if I can take the energy in this room, if I can take the energy from this very office, and I can bottle it up and frame it and put it somewhere, I would. Because this room, these four walls, this fan, this floor, look at these floors. See that? That's where my feet went. One, two, over and over, pushing back and pushing forward, pushing back, putting my feet up, getting on a, get, getting on a call and handling it. What these curtains have heard, I would love to bottle up and It's nuts, man. It's nuts. Look at this. <laughs> this is the, uh, this is from the scuff house. This thing was on the, on the main, um, that's from the scuff house. That was pretty much up there on, on the, the entertainment system at the scuff house. So to give you a little bit of, a, of an update, this is still my house. Um, I still have uh, my, my father-in-law uh, is staying here, um, you know, for the time being. We, we just sold, well, they just sold his house. My, my father-in-law is staying in here. Uh, you guys know him as Frank. Um, he's staying in here. Uh, I don't know how he can sleep with that beeping, but he's, uh, he's been here. He's packing it up, getting ready to, to go. What, uh, I wouldn't, uh, I, <clears throat> it's a little bit emotional. I don't even know how to, how to explain the emotions. Look at this. That, that. place looks way cleaner than when I was in here. See? Look at this. All my turtle wax stuff. I cannot... I, I don't think you... Some of you may, may be able to understand the sort of feelings that I'm going through because you may have lived them or you may have gone through them, but for me it's... it's, uh, it's I didn't think it was going to be as emotional as it is or as emotional as, as I am right now. But I am. Do you know how important this can is to me. So the reason that this can is so important to me is because it is the first time that the OptiGaming logo appeared on any drinkable beverage. Uh, to this day, it's still the only time that it's appeared on, on anything um, that's consumable um, in terms of beverages. Uh, just period, in any consumer goods. This is, this is like the only one. That's flame sword on the can. So what, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to FedEx right now. I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm gonna go to FedEx, I'm gonna put this in a very, very secured box and then ship it to myself alongside with that, um, with, the heart of, of the, with the heart of the scuff house. This one, that. Jude, Jude's the best, man. The fact that she had the foresight to put that aside, to take it down from the, my baby. 
Oh my god, look, it, I, I, I don't know why I got as emotional as I mean, actually, I do know why I got as emotional as I did. And I'm not, usually, okay? I'm not usually an emotional guy. But in this, I don't know, it's, it's, I, I, I that, that, when I stepped into that office, it, it shook me to my core. And I mean that because that's, that's the place where, where it got built. That's, that's where it all began. That's what, you know, my, my life was for, you know, five years. Oh my God. Liv grew up there. Oh, well, no, I mean, she's not grown up yet, but man, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it was very nice. It was a very nice experience. It was a very nice experience. All right, I'm gonna go ship this stuff right now because it needs to be framed. It needs to be, it needs to be put in a safe place. You know, I almost went past this place, but I'm glad that I didn't because I have a bone to pick with my storage people. My storage people say, I call them and I try to pay my, my rent. Let me, let me, let me handle it and then I'll tell you the story. So I had to go to my storage unit. Um, so what ended up happening is that I called in to pay my storage and I'm so dumb that I, for, I and, and was not dumb, but I was super busy during the move that I forgot to tell the movers to move all the stuff in the, in the storage room. So now I have a storage room that I've been paying for. And when my father-in-law starts moving down to Texas, that's when I'll move the, uh, the, the storage room. Uh, now the storage room has, you guys remember, it's got all the art pieces, it's got uh, a whole bunch of, you know, just like leftover gaming stuff, uh, including actually all of my collectibles. So the Black Ops 3 or 2 supply drop, 3, the Black Ops 3 supply drop, I have, uh, I, anyway, it's, it's a whole bunch of memor video game memorabilia that I have there. And one day I called to make a payment and my unit doesn't exist. So to make the long story short they moved my stuff I just went to check up on it all the artwork is intact everything is good uh, now all I need to do is ship it I, I, I was almost tempted to ship it right now but it's artwork so it's, it needs to be packaged a certain way anyway so the surprise so the surprise that I have for you guys today is that I got invited out to I, I don't know why I said that I got invited out. I got invited to visit uh, a very very talented artist's studio this guy's one of the best graffiti writers that has come out of Chicago he's uh, he's world-renowned he's a tank and uh, and I filmed him once and I made a short little montage of one of his paintings long ago um, but I'm a, I'm a very very big fan of his work so I'm uh, I'm kind of psyched to see what What's up? So anyway, I'm uh, I'm in Chicago right now. I'm actually going to lunch with my with my with my villains brothers. Uh, but first, I gotta stop by here, and I'm super psyched about that. It'll be good. Anyway, so this is uh, Jordan Nichols Studio, also known as Pose. Hit the montage. Nasty aside. Wait, you guys said that he left me a present? Yeah, he did. Get out of here. This book has no pages. Dang. That's very cool of him. I know he signed it. Yes, we're on the back, last page. Check the last page. Yeah. Oh, he did. Yeah. Alright. I don't... <laughs> I saw him sign it. That's so dope. Damn, that's so dope. Bro, this one's nice. So very, very early on, I'd say good like 10 years ago, I could have bought like a... Like one of his artworks for like a thousand dollars. Then right now everything that he sells is... How, what's the minimum? 
let's say this piece right here, how much would that go for in the, in the, in the black market? Yeah, it's like 20 grand. Like 20 to 30 grand. I mean, obviously worth it. The quality of this, the color composition. I don't need to get into details. I'm just actually kind of psyched that I'm here. Uh, tacos? Because I haven't eaten tacos and good tacos and we're going to get tacos. So I'm, I'm at, uh, this is Pose, Jordan Nickel. My friend Mike's <laughs> laughing. Can you tell me one thing that I can take from, from here? <laughs> I wasn't expecting to go to his studio. I've been there before, but never where, when, when he's been in there. Um, it was uh, pretty cool to, to have like a long conversation with him. It was pretty, the, the dude's like incredible. Like from the beginning of time, he's always been like one of the trend setting, like, uh, you know, envelope pushers in, in graffiti, spe specifically in Chicago. Not specifically in Chicago, graffiti, but globally. You know what I'm saying? My, uh, my boy Omens, my friend, my boy, my, my good friend, almost brother, if not brother omens uh was working on a project with with pose so he was he was there and that's why i ended up meeting him there um i will say this okay i will say this the taco place that i went to today called cafe tapatio is in roscoe park i think that's what it's called this is in roscoe park it was very texan like uh artisan taco i wasn't a big fan it was good I would eat it again, but it wasn't like it didn't. It didn't give me the satisfaction that tacos in Chicago usually do. You know what else doesn't give me the satisfaction that I need? The Chicago traffic that I'm enduring right now. It took me 35 minutes to get to that place uh, in the city. Right now, it's taking me close to an hour and five minutes to get back to uh, to Woodfield, which is where my hotel is, Woodfield Mall in Schaumburg. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna fast forward through this and and uh, pretty much end the vlog. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna end the vlog right here. I think that uh, that I've done more than enough today. If something else happens, then I'll add it on. But if not, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow or the day after that or the day after that. Who knows? You know? Who knows? Uh, who knows? We'll see. I, I I like vlogging, but I don't like the process of having to force myself to do something to to entertain you guys. Not that I don't like entertaining you guys. It's just that you know. Life happens. Today was super, super, super cool. Super cool that I got to, you know, go go hang out at, at, uh, at, that, at that studio. Incredible. The art that hasn't been released out of that is nasty. Uh, post this information is going to be listed down below. Uh, if you guys want to give him a follow on Instagram, uh, that'd be super, super cool. Chill guy, incredible, incredible artist. Anyway, having said that, boys and girls, and with that said, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Or, like I just said, maybe in a couple of days. Who knows? But definitely at the same, a damn, a time.